Uh, we got... Who do we got? We got Noonan versus Turnaround. Uh, Turnaround okay. is the Houston Texans, Noonan, the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, okay. Forza just doesn't really work that well this year. No. Look, his. There we go. Let's see if we have any sound on this one. Yeah, like the turnaround is on offense right now. Mm. Oh, and what, what? Ooh, Duke yeah, Johnson shaking off, off the tackle. Time. Yeah. Turnaround in trips tight end offset. Um, it's really running a worse version of trips. First down and ten. He's, he's throwing some contested balls. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Von Milley? I get it, bro. Watson on second and ten. Looking left side. Will Fuller with the catch first down. Takes a big hit. A oh, big play slay. Laying yeah. more lumbo than a Home Depot. He's going short side trips now. Let's see this. This one that's offensive is just confused. Like, why run Why run this instead of running just regular trips? We'll see. 7-7 seven, seven game. Can he still? He's just slanting them all over the place. Maybe he'd be all the way around, but... Oh, he'd be all the way around maybe, but he's not so far. Slants for days. I actually want him to do this. I want him to do this. Uh, Sivy, if you put Gillespie at tight end, does that mean you can audible down? Uh, that'd be an, a fullback. So that'd be another halfback. That would turn it into um, 21 personnel. So yeah, uh, well, no, it turned into uh, 20 personnel, actually. You put him at tight end. Yeah, Jaybird. Hands off. Duke Johnson trying to find room up the middle. Nowhere to go. This Eagles front four is tough, led by Fletcher Cox. The shitty split, split close is so good right now. It's really, really good. Third and two. That's hot. Look at left side. Cooks, catch, hits the line. He's in the end zone. Big touchdown there for turnaround as he's able to take the lead in this game up by a score. As the extra point is up and good. 14-7, under two to go in the first half. I want to see what Newton's running on offense, Nick. I think he's predominantly more of an under center type of guy. Uh, once again, though, this year, people it, the, the, the way this man is being played, though, is pushing a lot of people more towards a bunch of trips tight end, which I personally love, of course. Um, but traditionally, Noonan is more of an under center type of guy. Ten Miles Sanders going to work, and that work results in a loss of one. Good defense by the Texans. I, I, Sam, maybe I'm starting to believe in these Texans. Yeah, I mean they're good. We're wrong. I was wrong. They're better than I, I thought they'd be. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, fast DBs. Deshaun's a goat. Their wide receivers are good. They just don't have a great one. They have good wide receivers. They have mad and good wide receivers. They got speed. They got good hands. But no D hop obviously hurts them a lot. But I mean, they're still really good around that. Having JJ on defense too is big. Ben Carlson, uh, AJ Moore, Justin Reed. They got good defense. They are who we I thought they were. There. We let them off the hook. Rip Denny Green. First and ten. Went dropping back. Oh. It's picked up nicely. Finds Goodwin to the left side. Dink and dunk his way down the field. 
I, I still don't know if they're better than the Cardinals, but... I, I would take the Cardinals over the Texans, personally. But it's close. I think the Cardinals are better. I think the Cardinals are better. No, I haven't played a whole lot of regs, so... Maybe not, but I think the Cardinals are really good. Plus, they have Isaiah Simmons, who's just an amazing user on defense. Hard facts. First and ten, Wentz dropping come back. Down on that. Might have had the wheel late. He's just going to... Man... This offense is like an episode of of Grey's Anatomy. It's surgical. It's just dink and dunk its way down the field. I was a high school Nick. I watched about nine seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Uh, Myself, I've willingly. Seen, I, have I, seen, loved it. I have seen plenty of Grey's Anatomy. Uh, it's Zach, a lovely song. Zach Ertz out of bounds. McDreamy, McSteamy. Uh, uh, McDreamy was better. Patrick Dempsey was better water how much water I, I fill my bowl about halfway or so and i put it in the microwave for seven minutes and 50 seconds dude he's just <laughs> he's just he's just literally i don't think he has thrown a pass more than three yards in front of the line of scrimmage thinking of duncan and i like that like that that like the skill to that a hard thing with running offense like that though nick is that it takes so long to move down the field to get you open yourself up to more mistakes, like to more opportunities to make one bad read. You know what I'm saying, and if you make yeah, if you make that one bad read, it's hard to come back because you've used so much time. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's the one issue with doing that with playing offense like this. Some I, I saw that last year a lot. Went flat. Oh, uh, that there was. That was the mistake. Oh, that, that, that was the one bad read. He got rewarded, so it worked out for him. It worked out. It's only a complete pass. But like I, I noticed that issue last year when I tried playing like this. Um, one bad read and it's it's tough. Went on third and goal. I just got kicked three. And plus the other thing yeah, that's tough is when you're dinking and dunk your way down the field. You get inside the ten. There's no more place to dink and dunk. Well, I think any offense you have to have, unless you're just a runner, because oh. obviously run plays are gonna work regardless of the distance, right? Can you, the ball, yo, you have to. Siv, you, you might be able to do this. Can you just send Frazzy on like a 25 second lap to think about what he just said? Yeah, no, I just have to go pick, but that's fine. Thank you. It's Frazzy. I want to come out in quarters here. Uh, let's go uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, you got to take a lap. You got to think about what you just said. I don't think. Yeah, even, even, especially in tournament play, it's hard to play like this. Yeah. Uh, this is a so final yeah. eight game, by the way. Well, so these guys have already guaranteed themselves two dollars and fifty cents. They like to guarantee themselves that one hundred and twenty bucks when we can do the final four. This act, that's a big change in money. Two dollars fifty cents to one hundred twenty-five. It's a good return on investment for winning one game. Look for Will Fuller. Can't make the catch. Halftime in this elite eight game between uh, Noonan and Turnaround is Turnaround with the fourteen ten lead. Mad nineteen, yeah. Come on, let's drive down the field. This is my job. Yes, sir. As it's going to be uh, Noonan get the ball first. So you, I like the decision to take three at the end of the half, not force it knowing you get ball to start the second right. half. Yeah, no, I agree. Especially the way he seemed to move the ball down easily is really good. I think he's about to run the ball here because he's in the middle of the field. I think he wants to get it. I think we'll see him get to a hash, and then he should pass next play. Pretty sure that's why he's just running the ball real quick, and I want to see. He, sh he should be uh, passing on second down. Uh, Toe Nations, uh, did, were you the one who called me last time? I didn't time anyone out. Ertz, flat route. I think it's just a wheel route. Look at Ertz. Ertz. <laughs> just broke like four tackles. Is that Ertz the beast? Uh, Derek, G24 with a BFNF this Friday. Yeah, be there at 7.30 Eastern time. We're announcing which fans are going to be part of our Tyson Pro-Am. Um, and then it's a regular Friday Night Football this week. Orange juice and cereal, stop it. B listen, we don't want to... You can't let everyone know that you have bodies buried in your basement. Just don't have stupid opinions. That's what I said. <laughs> like Larry Bird would only score 10 points in the league today. Got him. Look, it's a bit of an exaggeration. The final opinion is that he'd just be a fringe all star. Look at that. I don't want to see somebody else get mad at me. Someone else just got super mad. They're angrily typing. Relax. It's just a sports opinion. You Madden, have some bad ones too, I promise you. Madden 19, yes. Yeah. We 
yes, this is our job. We're working, so yes, we're getting paid. Why? <laughs> Vaughn Miller, I'm just saying. Nice pass. This playmaker up the sidelines to Boston Scott, the five foot eight powerhouse. Razzy, do you want timed out? You make go forty. Give him forty. Right, forty. Clearly needs to think about what he's done. Duncan. Duncan Robinson versus Larry Bird. Hey, what? It's an odd. Huh? It's a weird, like. Toast Nation. I mean, I, I don't know. Are you saying Tim Duncan and Larry Robinson and uh, and uh, David Robinson versus Larry Bird in a? Uh, do I get to pick one against Larry Bird? What's going on? <laughs> I'm very confused. Wentz. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a weird. Oh, oh God! I'm come on, Goddard. <laughs> yeah, wait, he's saying, "Come on, Goddard." I... Oh, Duncan Robinson. Oh, sorry, I just yeah, see Duncan and Robinson. I just, that's I just a hundred percent think of Tim Duncan and and uh, David Robinson. Um, Bird. Yeah, that guy. Sure. Him. I, I, one on one, Larry Bird all day. I mean, I, I assume you're talking about Larry Bird in his prime, not like Larry Bird now. Like probably Duncan Robinson now. Larry Bird, literally right now. Literally right now. Right now. Sixty year old Larry Bird. I got Duncan Robinson. He's no Peja Stojakovic. Oh, I just need one. Spot. Seth Curry has a better three point shooting percentage than Steph Curry. Good, Frazzy. Good. You know what? I'm just going to send you on a lap because you are cause you were mean. All right, bud? So, you can lap up. Come in the chat. Be I mean, nice. He was mean. But if you're going to be a dick, guess what? You can just you can take a walk. And if you don't like it, you can take a, a long walk. Nick, Nick, I respect that. I stand by my, my co-host. Second and ten. No. Bro, we gotta pick that. Oh my god. Bro. No, NJ Matt. No, he was not timed out. Timed out for saying, saying Bird better. Timed out for saying Duncan Robinson, idiot. That's gotta be a pick. That's why. Yeah. Holy yeah, I'm gonna time out everyone who says Bird is better. I'm a huge Duncan Robinson fan. Time out anyone who says that Bird would would be a, a Hall favorite today. Yeah, just 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 eat him out of chat. No, you're good, NJ you Matt. You're good, G. I I realized I timed him out like right as he typed that, so. It was, it was sort of unfortunate timing, yeah. but you go to timing, but nonetheless. Fourth and ten now. Uh, 11 seconds left on the third, and turnaround's going for this one. Down 17-14. Sybil would beat Larry Bird. No, no. Settle down. The three-pointers, maybe. Wait. Oh, you mean Larry Bird right now? I still got Larry Bird. The three-pointers, I like myself. Got a lot of time. Good coverage downfield. He's looking for Cooks over the Back top of Slice. Lane. ain't going to let that man. happen. Big play, Slice. Swatting that one away. Huge drive here for Noon and Siv to put this mm -hmm. game out of reach. Seven, basically. Seven's a dagger. Three's tough. Seven's a dagger, though. Toe Tenacious. Uh, I got Shaq, but RG is an absolute goon in the post. He throws bows like nobody else. He's Bill Lambeer down there. RG is an absolute monster. Yeah. I see that easily. Definitely Bill Lambert vibes. <laughs> Vilma is in the final four. Goon, I'm making a comeback this guy. Call that man a regs goon. Miles Sanders room up the middle. He's uh he's in the final four. He's gonna be waiting for a little bit. He's he's yeah. gonna be waiting for a second. Stretch out. Come on in the chat. Uh, Von Von Millie, uh tomorrow night. 30. Time. Over the middle. Picked off. Oh, he threw a bad pass and it's picked off by turnaround. Moore with the interception. And just like that, turnaround is back in this game. Gets the turnover he's looking for. I can't with the walk drive. Ah, that's fucking bad, dude. And he knows it. Watson. so fast. He's so good. Oh, Lizzie Goblin. 
I mean, I've gobbled a few glizzies in my day. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I have them, but I don't know if I'm that good at it. Second of five. Play action. Watson over the middle. Brandon Cooks. Oh, he takes a big hit and drops the football. Come on, Brandon. Third and five. He can take off with Watson and pick up the first down, and he will take off with Watson. He's picked up the first. Oh, he so takes the hit on the sidelines, yeah. though. You have to stop taking hits like that. Like, you have to, like, because that, that puts a big, like, factor on your fatigue. Big shout out to the 289 of you hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco, Civil, along with you here. $2,000 prize pool tonight here. PlayStation 4 side of the bracket. Oh, you Finds Glaspia back over oh. the middle. Finds Gillespie, who's still Ew. running. Finds Gillespie, who's still running. He's still going to the end zone. Oh, what a gross. run. Looking like Barry Sanders and not a fullback. No fucking way. That was gross. Oh my lord. A lumberjack makes plays in every Madden. Last Madden, this Madden, he don't care. He's a lumberjack. Absolutely. That, that's a bit. Uh, Newton's, bonkers. Newton's stick sick right now, though. Oh, I'm uh, disgusting because right that though. run was disgusting. It was icky. He had a chance to win the game earlier, too, and just throw, throw a blind pick. He has a drop drive, so he has a chance to. In the, words, in the words of my man mentioned earlier, Elbow McBill Lambia, Ryan Glick. That man got absolutely icky sticky with that one down the field and found his way to the cribbo. Well, I love listening to RG commentate. Oh, he's so good, man. He's the absolute goat. He's so good. First and ten. Does, can Noonan recover from getting absolutely stuck by Connor by calling Gillespie down the field? That man's a fullback. Colin Gillespie is a fullback civil, and he did that to the entire Be defense. Beast. I will say, I love the new possession animations. Yep, me too. Don't listen to what Spoto said. This game's not bad. Ha, ah, Civ, nice. Uh, that's the funny number. Why is it funny? Uh -huh. First and ten. Take this down to the two-minute warning. Nice drive here from Noonan. Seems pretty composed, but this is where it gets real sweaty. Under two to go. And he's at the 26-yard line. <clears throat> did you see what David Blaine did, uh, by the way? Did you see what David Blaine did? Oh, it's picked oh. off. Oh, turn around, just lurked him. Lurked and there goes Gaines. Turn around in the last four minutes of this game. Give that man the clutch ability because he has clutched up in this one. And he plays the cerebral mind games by going down to the two-yard line. What a lurk, what a run, and what is about to be a great win for turnaround. Oh my gosh, that was such a bad read. That was such a bad read. The post over top. Oh, oh, shot. Duke, you good? Duke, you good? By the way, did you see what David Blaine did today? Oh, I did not. What, what did he do? He floated over the Arizona desert by holding on to about 50 helium balloons. Was that real? Yeah. I saw a picture. I just thought uh, David I just saw someone making a joke that I didn't quite he's, get. He's a... He's a limited. Why go down? <laughs> I, I don't know if he meant to. He was so close. I think he just hit X and he just fell. He got that in while he's in the he end zone. To go down, to be honest. He's in the end zone. I don't know. If it was it on purpose, out. Worked out, though. Uh, here's all I'm saying. If it was on purpose, he used two of his timeouts and he still ends up with a two score lead. That's still not the worst thing in the world either because, uh, worst case scenario, he would have used all three of his timeouts and then been up seven. He almost got uh, stuck. I do agree. I probably. Here's the thing. I, yeah, I, I do don't. Agree. I. I, don't mm, I I don't mind it with the time that was on the clock. At the end of the day, if you can't score in four plays from the two-yard line, God, damn. I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be in the final eight of a tournament. That oh, was on accident. No, I, I, think both, 
I, I think both lines of reasoning are fine. I don't I, think like, it is you, that you, you egregious. I, I I don't think it is that no, egregious. Not. No, it's not. It's not because worst case scenario, Nick, you take all three of his timeouts in a game with pretty you know significant run uh, runoffs. You yeah. feel like you've been playing good defense, and he has to get seven. Yeah, not crazy. And if you score, he has to get two touchdowns in a minute thirty. But I so, get like, that it is. Go either way. It's on the borderline for sure, especially with the other person having three timeouts. First and ten, looking underneath for Goodwin. No, I, I think both. I think you go both ways. Once again, uh, Noonan missed the post over top. Tonation still gives a chance, but here's here's what I go the other way. Uh, this is this is the this is my only. Both sides give a chance. The, the, yeah, you get a chance either way because if he goes in and scores with a minute fifty six left, then it's three timeouts left for Noonan. Let's say he hits a yeah. I I, I know he he meant to dive in, but let's uh, just on let's play in the field of he uh, again. It wasn't that right, dumb because he could have went down purposely and. Yeah, so let's play in that field. Uh, you give him three timeouts. He absolutely uh, uh, Noonan hits a bomb over the top with you know a minute twenty left, and then his three timeouts get stopped. You get a you get a chance either way. Uh, yeah, I think both lines are thinking are fine. You just go. It's like a personal preference type of thing. It's yeah. like however you feel the game's going, um, and you can't really bitch about either. Went over the middle. He's got a good one. First and ten for Wentz. Looking left side. It's Ertz in the flat to the forty-seven. Not not those games. Th this game's over. He, he needs it onside. In breeze in this game, where the two clock glitch is a thing, and where runoffs are nuts, right. I'm okay taking timeouts. Again, he didn't mean to it do works. it. And I think and I in in theory, I'd absolutely I would run in too. I'm always for scoring points. I'm yeah, concerned. and Nick, another thing too is if you're gonna run the ball three times in one yard line, the fall forwards and the reach forwards this year way better. Kind of crazy too. So that also helps. Although we did watch that. Fancy go three times to the one yard line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, like the, the likelihood of that happening is so so low. I, I think he he did, he did not mean to go down right, but some people would go down there. Some people would go. The worst, like that is a real thing. He should have stunned from the forty instead of trying to go down or actually trying to score. I agree with that. I agree with that one actually. Von Miller with the only smart comment so far. Fourth, Just 14. Stunned. And we got, oh, okay. We have the quick cut.